What's going on ladies and gents, Cerebro here for C3G and today we're going to be doing a review on my new phone, the LG G3. Now I went ahead and picked this up because I really wanted something different. I thought the, uh, the Samsung was going to be kind of the phone I was going to be using for a long time. But uh, there was just a lot, of, a lot of new technology coming out, a lot of new stuff and I was really excited about it. So I had to jump on something new and that was the LG G3. And uh, let's just get into it. So here it is. Now the biggest thing I'll point out right away is the bezel, right? So this is a really thin bezel in comparison to the Note 4, even without a case on. Uh, the actual bezel itself here, right? So this is the, you know, if you go face to face, right? The bezel is very thin. Now with the, with the Note 4, I really enjoyed having a nice side grip here. Uh, Give me a really good firm grip on it. I really don't like rounded edges. Uh, so when I got this, uh, I figured I would get a case, and I definitely did because not five minutes ago, as I took this apart to uh, to show you guys the, the phone without the case on, I, uh, I went ahead and dropped it accidentally, and we got, let's see if we can get this focus, there it is. We got a little scratch. So it hit the, uh, hit the corner and it did get scratched. So uh, that's why I bought this uh, monstrous uh, case that ends up giving me uh, almost twice the thickness of the Note 4 actually, uh, so that's kind of nice. So we'll talk about the hardware first. Um, now this uh, this is the uh, black metallic. Uh, it does also come in uh, a white and a gold, uh, so that's pretty sweet. You got some color options there right out of the box. Uh, the biggest thing you'll notice is there are no buttons on the top, sides, or the bottom. Uh, your, infrared, uh, your infrared transmitter is at the top your uh, secondary mic and your mic is at the bottom and headphone jack and the uh, power charging port. The buttons are on the back. So right there, we've got three buttons. Uh, these two are a bit recessed and this one's raised in the middle here. Uh, so you get kind of a little variety there. And then we've got our camera, our flash and our laser autofocus, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and of course we have our speaker, one watt and it has its own booster amp, which is really nice. It makes it a nice, really loud phone. Now, internally, we do have the 3,000 milliamp hour battery that is, of course, removable. Now, this does NF This does have NFC, and that's already on here, as you can tell. We've got the, uh, the receiver right there, and as you can tell by these notches here, it does have the optional wireless charging as well. Uh, you got your micro SD card slot, as well as your uh, uh, SIM card slot and uh, got the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 uh, quad core uh, that goes up to 2.5 gigahertz, which is pretty sweet. Uh, now, I did just drop it, so I actually need to power this bad boy on. And um, it does have a uh, three, mine has the three gigs of RAM because it's the 32 gig model. The uh, 16 gig model does come with two gigs of RAM. Um, and the external SD card, supposedly, now that's the SDXC, so that will go up to two terabytes, which is pretty sweet. Now, once this loads up here, we'll talk about the software. Um, the biggest thing, uh, well actually, let's talk about the camera first. Uh, the camera's pretty sweet. On the back, we have a 13 megapixel optical image stabilization. Like I said, we got that laser autofocus, so it's pretty sweet when you actually uh, go to take a picture. So if we swipe up right now, and we go to take a picture, let's see, of this case. So, see how to auto adjust, you move around, it picks its focus points, right? So it's pretty sweet, it's pretty fast, and uh, adjusts very quickly. So for you photo, uh, photographers, uh, <laughs> photographers out there, uh, it's a very, very nice phone for that. Um, now, we will talk about the software on a very large level here because that is my favorite thing about this phone. Now, I'm gonna put this back in while I talk about it because I don't want to drop it again. And um, this does come with the Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Um, I'm not sure if the Lollipop's gonna be released for this yet. I haven't found any data on that. Uh, but to be honest, I haven't really looked that hard. And, see this thing's actually very sturdy because it kind of grooves in. And I picked this bad boy up on eBay as a Ghost Tech, uh, Ghost Tech case and I'll throw some links in the, in the in the down below if I remember to. <laughs> but back to the software, like I said, 4.42 KitKat, and one of the nicest, absolute nicest displays I have ever seen. Quad HD, now it's 5.5 inch, quad HD, 
Uh, it's got the IPS and it's a whopping 538 pixels per inch. And uh, see if we can get this to translate on the 1080p here. Uh, we're going really close. Get some sharpness. I mean, really can't tell. And that's like, you know, right in your face. So, um, the, the screen quality is amazing. Um, let me see if I can get switch over to one of these nicer wallpapers. I use Zedge for my wallpapers just because I have way too many that I like. And I just don't want to spend the time to change them myself. Um, yeah, let's go with this guy here. Uh, it's already downloaded. This is not. Alright. So we'll go in one of these guys. Focus up here. So I mean, just crisp. I mean, I could I could pretend like I, I could even make you believe that I was recording this outside. Except for the autofocus. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, really, really nice display. I love it. It's absolutely nice. And uh, the display being so nice and bright, the battery doesn't really suffer. I have yet to, I mean, it's four o'clock in the afternoon and it is still at 65%. And I have, uh, let's see, what have I done on this so far? I have watched video. I have checked my email. I have uh, been on Facebook. I've done uh, app updates. So all of that stuff has been done on here today and we're still only at 65%. So it's really, really good quality on them. You can tell it's uh, nice and freezing outside. Now, LG has the absolute best stock launcher ever, in my opinion. So far, uh, now there are a few that I have not tested yet. Uh, I've never had a, uh, well, I mean, I guess a recent uh, Motorola. I haven't had a recent Motorola. I haven't had a Sony. Uh, so there are a few that I haven't tried out. But I mean, going from the TouchWiz on Samsung to this guy, world of difference. And the first and foremost is your options for locking and unlocking the phone. So um, I put this up as a software feature uh, because I really think it is uh a software feature because it is still technically running an app to figure out if you're touching the screen. So the biggest thing here is you don't actually have to press the button. So on the table, double tap, it opens it up. Uh, you actually have an option to lock the screen as well with the tap motion. So you can actually do up to six taps in a various uh, a square configuration, uh, square grip configuration rather. And uh, you can do that unlock code right off the black screen so it's not even uh, you don't even have to get into this and then do the unlock. You can just unlock directly if you remember where to get your proper placement. Now, we'll start right at the lock screen. This is completely customizable, which is pretty sweet. You can do uh, this. This is all me. Uh, this is my, I've got my Instagram. I've got my calculator, my Spotify, my camera, and my phone. That can be anything you want. Uh, you can put whatever you want down here. It's pretty sweet. So let's see here. You, you can do widgets. Uh, I have my flashlight widget. Uh, which you do have to, you actually have to get that. Um, it's not something that it comes with. And that's one of those, one of those little things that I wish it did have, but it doesn't, but it's not really a, it's not really a, a killer for me. You know, I don't think I wouldn't say nay based on that alone. If you notice this does a pretty sweet little animation when you unlock, this is called vector circle. There are four options as to what this will look like for you. Uh, so if you want to change that you can and again, this is all stock. You don't have to do anything special for that Same thing with This area down here. You can have up to seven. You can move your apps icon, which is really nice So you can move that to the center side anyone anywhere in between uh, and you can actually customize The main launches as well. So I've got my my back my home and my all apps view and what I also have is my Q slide which pulls up certain quick things uh, now the phone is kind of unnecessary because it's, the phone's already on there, so technically I could get rid of the phone on the, the main screen. Uh, but this is a nice one because if you're going to do one one-handed operation, boom, you don't have to slide up for the top or anything. Which is this, and it pulls down the, the notifications. It's pretty sweet. And that's really the nicest thing about it is it has a lot of customization options. And this is the first time that I, the, the you know, after a week of use, I didn't download a, a custom launcher because it really does everything I wanted to. It does my wallpaper uh, infinite view. I can, I can flip it around if I want to, so I can keep going around. 
I chose not to with this one. Uh, it does uh, the customize, the customization down here. It does the customization on the, the lock screen. It does the custom slide unlock, which is really nice. That's actually something I've never really been a huge fan of because even the, the custom lock screens that I've gotten, uh, I pretty much abandon them pretty pretty soon after I get them. Uh, I like to play around with them, but then I abandon them. But this one I really like, uh, and I have found myself. Let's see here. I found myself just uh, just doing this. Just for kicks, just because I like what it does and how it looks. Uh, so just kind of to, to amuse myself for a second, I do that. But uh, overall, it's a really, really nice phone. And your notifications here, uh, you've got a ton of options. Now up here, this is fully customizable. Uh, I leave my quick remote, which is pretty sweet. That's a built-in app that allows you to use your TV remote via the phone. And I have my gym TV and my uh, my home TV set up here, so it's pretty sweet. And that can go away. In the settings, it's pretty standard. They do have this uh, tab view, which is pretty nice. Uh, so you've got your options of like kind of getting to stuff a little faster, I believe. Uh, some people like the the standard list view, which is pretty standard for KitKat, and that's fine if you want to do that. Uh, I really like the tab view. I'm kind of an organizational. I don't want to say nut, but I do like stuff organized. Uh, and I do like stuff in kind of its own section. So, you know, networking, fine. I really don't use this screen. So your sound, I've definitely used that. It's got some really nice options. Re nice uh, headphones. Uh, my fiance loves me, so that's good. <laughs> uh, uh, not, uh, nice uh, ringtones is what I meant, not headphones. What am I talking about? Uh, really nice uh, ringtones. So I've actually got the, the rhythm guitar on here as my So, kind of an idea of the speaker quality. You got your notification sounds. I mean, you've got a lot of options here. You've got your vibrate on tap. You actually can have it announce your stuff, which is pretty sweet. And this is where you customize your home screen, lock screen, and the, the home touch buttons, which is this area down here. The other nice thing you can customize is your fonts, your font size. Um, I did play around with that, but I really like the this new Smart Gothic. Everything else is a little, a little too carefree for me. <laughs> I like things, sometimes I like things a little little more rigid, I guess. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, there's a ton of uh, screen off effects, pretty sweet too, because you can actually decide how it turns off. Uh, so right now I have it be retro TV, so that's why it looks like that. It looks like the TV has been turned off. Now, overall, it's really nice, it's snappy, it's quick. I, I really have had zero problems with it. Um, like I said, I didn't even have damage on it until about five minutes ago when I actually dropped it, taking the case off for the video. So that's why I buy cases. Uh, this is nice because I like I really wanted something with a kickstand, and this is a nice nice kickstand kick because it kind of sits into place, uh, it kind of snaps in, and uh, puts it kind of just at the right angle, which I think is really important. Uh, and it goes it goes in flush with the, the actual back of it. So it's really nice overall case and a just Aces phone. I would say absolutely buy this phone if you can. Uh, I got it on a special, special deal um, from Verizon, it was Black Friday, I think. Uh, Black Friday or Christmas Day or something like that, and uh, it was it was just, uh, it was free with a free G-Tab, which the review for that will be coming up pretty soon. And that's pretty much it. I really, really like this phone. Like I said, I'll link towards the uh, tips and tricks I found for this. It's got tons and tons of stuff you can do with it. Uh, I am a huge fan of this phone. Um, I just, I can't be more happy with it. And the fact that I don't have to get a third party launcher, absolutely my favorite, favorite thing about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, like, subscribe, check out t3gtech.com, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And uh, we still have our winter contest going on for a little bit. So definitely check that out on the 970 MSI video. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. As always, I've been Cerebro for T3G. Signing off.